Hello, I'm back with some more Another Code Recollection. If you notice something in the bottom right hand corner, that is right. I am a PNG tuber now. Hopefully my location with my character as well as the size and stuff isn't too distracting. I'll, I'll have to mess around with it a bit, uh, but for the time being, let me uh, put my hand down. Okay. <laughs> And uh, we shall continue the game. Last time we uh, met w up with uh, D, and we were going to we were, yeah we look through the mansion, and we headed into the uh, piano room, of course. And we found one of the keys. I don't remember which one it was, but we're in chapter two, of course. Lawrence's mansion. Is this the right save data, <laughs> or is it does does it just always show the title? I don't know. <laughs> uh huh. Okay. One second. <laughs> I think I have to reset then. Here we go, it's the autosave at the top, sorry. Okay, let's jump into it. <laughs> um, but yeah. I'm thinking as well, I mean, I made a whole sort of mini video about it, but I think I'm gonna make more outfits and stuff for my avatar as we go on and I, I can choose between them. For the time being, we are in the drawing room. Um, it has been, oh sorry, what was it? It was the R2, uh, yeah, the ZR button to run. Alright, let's uh, go back into the foyer, I suppose. Um, hmm. oh, okay. Something wrong? Hmm. Jessica isn't here either. I guess not. She be? Where is she? Yeah, good point. Let us take a look. Okay. If you are wondering, if you are very curious, uh, I do basically have that, um, sweater that, <laughs> that I have uh, in my avatar. It does not say Tatsunami, but I did change that up a bit. Um, but still. I wanted to check our items, because we did get the... Um, how do we check our items? I don't think it's... is it the X button? Camera, album... no, it's not that. Is it, like, the plus button? It's not that either. <laughs> I don't know how to check our items. That's the camera. Nope. Um... Because I, I wonder... it did say autosave. I wonder if we did actually pick up the, the key or not, because that's going to really uh, come into play. So let me just double check. Uh, as well as the, the yeah, like, on top of the, 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 uh, the table with, like, the... The ashtray and all that. Did we get that? Um, there around the- yeah, okay, we did. Yeah, we already got the key. I don't remember what, um, letter that was, because I do remember it was like the- like, for instance, it was like the L key or something, right? Um, I don't exactly remember which- which letter it was, though, so... Okay, well, I suppose we'll just go to the other side and start exploring this room, if we can open it. It won't open, okay. Um, it is- Again, very bizarre that I can't take a look at my items. I wonder... Album, messages... Am I missing... Oh, here we go. Okay, I got it. It's the E key. Oh, I just realized I'm, I'm in the way. <laughs> Should I put myself to the left of this game? Hold on, one second. Uh, would that be better? Maybe? <laughs> one second, then. Okay, that might be a little bit better. Let's take a look at my items. <laughs> This might happen quite a bit, and I might have to move myself around uh, with different games, but anyways, okay. A key I found in the room with the piano, it has a big E carved in into it. It must stand for something, but I'm not sure what. E, huh? What is a, a room that starts with an E? Like the... Hmm, I actually can't think of any. But I'm assuming that's what we need to open up next. Um, so, uh, yeah. Again, I do sincerely apologize that I'm not super used to the, 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 the control layout yet. Okay, the door's locked. It must be one of these doors, though. Uh, I suppose we'll just try them all and uh, see what happens. I guess there's another one over here. Um, a, a room in a house that starts with an E, huh? It's locked and won't open. Can we not use the... use the E key? Yes. Oh, okay. I guess it was this one. Nice. Uh, I did notice that the little inventory bag flashed, so I wonder if that means that we can use an item in that spot. Or if it's just like it just shows you like no matter which door it was, I'm not entirely sure. Oh, but okay. It's a hallway. Uh huh. Looks like it leads to more rooms. Yeah, I guess so. There's some way of knowing where Jessica is. Yeah. But I guess we'll just have to search the rooms one by one. I mean, her glasses were on the floor. I mean, like, is she is she gonna be in one piece? I don't know. I don't know. Let's take a look at the hummingbird Fred. door. Franny, huh? okay. This is it her room? room? Oh, it is. Okay. Oh, wow. Really? Mm -hmm. Ashley. Open this door. All right. I feel like I'm about to remember something. Got let's, it. Let's take a look. But I then. wonder if it's. Oh, yep. nothing. Locked. Ah, oh, okay. <laughs> that makes sense. We're gonna have to have a, a key for that. Yeah, look, it's the um, the bag is flushing. 
I wonder if it's saying do you want me to use... Okay. Alright, so I guess it doesn't matter. Wait, there is a key on a... Oh no, this is for the, the entrance, wasn't it? Yeah, so this isn't going to work either. Okay. I guess the, the, the flashing just means you can use an item in this location. Okay. What about this room? A bird with a golden sprout in its beak adorns the door. Do you know what room this mm. is? No, I can't remember. Mm. It's locked, it won't open up. I guess not. Uh, could we use... I'm guessing the E key's already done for, right? This can't be... Oh, wait, sorry. I guess I'm not facing the right way. E key. Nope, it can't be used yet. Okay. So it's not that either. Uh, there is still more... I guess there's another set of stairs. The camera angle's a little hard to see, but... Could go down this way. What does this lead to? Oh, another set of rooms. Rather creepy, but I am glad that this is uh, daytime. <laughs> okay, this one does open. Cool, let's take a look then. Alright. And, uh... Oh, here we are. It's an art room of sorts. I, I guess. A whole bunch of canvases and paintings. So well some sculptures and whatnot. Okay. Oh, I guess that's Franny. Little self-portrait so or something. Paintings, I guess so. No Jessica. Yeah. <gasps> oh, did you did remember something? Something up? Did you remember something? No, <laughs> exactly what I just said. Okay. Uh, there's a canvas shelf. Let's take oh. a look. There are lots of canvases here, and they're all faded. Again, the word faded has been ruined for me at this point. Uh, easels? Is that what they're called? I can't investigate them. Never mind. Okay. Um, let's see. What about top of the dresser? Hey. D, what's huh? Uh -huh. What's he up to? He can't take his eyes off the portrait. Okay. Oh, I guess we meant to investigate the, this first. The sketch. There's an old sketch of a young girl on the easel. What is it? Does she look all that young? <laughs> Sorry, that was a little rude. Uh, what is it? Yeah. Hmm. <gasps> it overlaps with the past, with uh, Franny that he met. Wanna I see suppose. a picture that Papa drew? Mm. I'll show you, but it'll be our secret, okay, D? So her father was an artist, I imagine, of some sort. It's Franny. Okay. Huh? Mm. Ashley, it's Franny. Uncle Henry drew this. Uncle Henry? Uncle Henry? Mm. Yeah. Franny's papa. So Franny's dad is Henry, and the kid in this picture is Franny. Not to mention, he did say uncle, so... I guess Franny and uh, D are cousins. But it's a little rough, so it's hard to be sure. Mm -hmm. Franny grabbed my hand and pulled me into this room. Okay. She showed this to me and said that her dad was a great artist. Mm -hmm. She said she asked him to draw a picture of me, too. After that, we went into the yard. There was a puppy. He is starting to remember a whole bunch of things, which is great. I wonder if there's a drawing of him as well, because that would be, uh, you know, that would come into play as well, I guess. Huh. Mm -hmm. Seeing Dee so happy, talking about his memories with Franny, it's a mm. little... Well, weird. <laughs> Why is that, Dee I wonder? was with Franny, the girl in this old drawing. Mm -hmm. And that same boy is here with me. Right now. That is true. <laughs> it is a bit of a, a time conundrum, you could say. Okay, uh, I suppose we'll take a look at the painting of the ocean. A canvas sits on the easel. It's painting of a moonlit cove. I guess it is called an easel, huh? Painting. This may be my favorite room so far. It is a very uh, welcoming room. It's a very calming but room, isn't it? Feels isn't it? somehow lonely. I can't put my finger on why. Oh uh, yeah, that would make sense. <sighs> mm. hmm. You've remembered something, have you? Oh, I guess this is back in the day. The same room. Mm-hmm. Not as many paintings in that flashback. What did you remember? Now. I've seen this picture, mm. but before it was finished, it used to be of the ocean in the afternoon light. Uh huh. Okay. But now, it's the ocean at nighttime. I wonder why it was changed. So something uh, happened, I suppose, that made the artists change their vision. Paintbrushes. Mm -hmm. uh, are those brushes still usable? They look rock hard. Well, there's nothing. A lot of uh, well. You know, warm water can do the mm -hmm. trick, right? Rags and paper inside drawing supplies, I suppose. Sorting shelf is a... Uh, oh, uh, yeah, it's the same thing. Can I investigate the sculptures up there? No, I guess not. Okay, and we got the door there. What about the the buckets? No. Um, I guess... Oh, there is a bunch of stuff here. Scribbles. That looks like Ashley, doesn't it? There's a drawing on the table. Huh. There's paper... Oh, sorry. <laughs> Sorry, Ashley. That was your line. I who the girl is. is. that a bit of chocolate, huh? Maybe it's Franny? 
Well, it doesn't, yeah, look like the so. picture from before. This girl, she looks look a at, like you. Look at how expressive Ashley's face is there. I'm really impressed by the animations in this game. Huh? You know, Wait, she, she looks like she was um, be. kind of thinking or whatever. Did my dad draw this picture of me? Mm, could be. I wonder if the woman there is uh, her, uh, her mom. Is, I, is it Sayoko, um, I guess? What's wrong? Aren't you happy? Does he think I look like this? Oh, okay. It's... well, it's not very accurate. Well, it does... it definitely... you could see the similarities, but I suppose it isn't, like, oh, no. one for one. What is it? But... What if Dad doesn't even recognize me? Mm. That is a depressing thought to have, but we d won't know until we actually check it, uh, can we? Plate of chocolate, okay. There's some chocolate on a silver plate, oh. very fancy. It's partially eaten, but by who? Who partially eats chocolate? Mm. <laughs> I feel like I've seen this before. Huh? The chocolate's been sitting here for that long. Uh -uh. No, the plate, the silver plate, was someone treasured it. Oh. oh no, good, I can't remember. Okay. Uh, let's see. What about... Uh, it doesn't look like there's much else here. We can't take a look at... It's. I guess it's just the scribbles and the chocolate, huh? No other clues, no other keys. Okay. Okay then, uh, let's take a look around. There is also a cupboard here. Uh, did, did we check this? I feel like we did check this, didn't we? Oh no, we didn't. Okay. Let's see, uh, what can we take a look at? Maybe the other notepad? Okay. Let's, uh, click on that. Bill coming. Okay. <laughs> There's a notepad on the dresser. Huh. This notepad looks new. I wonder if it's my dad's. Hey. What's written on it? Uh, 8, uh, yeah, I guess August 15, Bill is coming. There's no ears, is there? But, sure. Who? Who's Bill? Hmm. No clue. Maybe a friend of my dad's. There's something else written here, too. Looks like some notes have been jotted down here. Uh, shopping list for Bill, chocolate, and potato chips. Well, we did see the chocolate before. Man telling for Cafe Late, uh, apple soda. Dad. My dad likes chocolate, too. Hmm, okay. I'm sorry, I'm kind of in the way, aren't I? <laughs> I don't think there's anything else over uh, this side that we can investigate. I guess it's just the notepad for here. Okay. Um, there's a palette, this okay. Is... is this for oil painting? It's completely hardened now. I guess after all that time, okay. Mm. Such a beautiful piece and it's all covered in spiderweb. Sad, really. Oh yeah, it is too, I didn't even realize. Okay, the easel holds an elaborate painting. What is it of? Is it... I guess it's a room? It's one of the rooms, I suppose? Huh. Plaster figure. I think I've seen these on TV, but this one's smaller than I've seen before. Really? I guess you saw something giant. Oh, the ocean? Oh, we can look at the ocean from here. Okay. D, look. Hmm. I imagine it to be what quite is it? the view. Yeah, look at that. The ocean. It is so pretty. So blue. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Guess so. Jessica and I came here on a boat. Mm -hmm. Maybe you and your dad. Yeah, I mean, boat as well. that would make the most sense, wouldn't it? Could be. You'd oh, sorry, to, I didn't mean to skip right? That. When I first saw the island from the boat, I felt something. What did you feel? I didn't get it at the time, but I think I do now, at least a little. I love, <laughs> I love how D is like blended into the ocean. But what is it? Mm -hmm. It's about meeting my dad. Yeah. I just kept thinking, what do I do if he's a jerk? Yeah, you you have been a little bit Are pessimistic. You of that? Maybe. A little. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's only natural. If, especially if you're 14 as well and you feel like you've been neglected. Uh, that's fair. Uh, I guess this must be the same thing. You can see the ocean from the window. Yes, indeed we can. Um, I suppose... Oh, there's easels here. What? Is this a spare easel? It looks even more cobwebbed than the other stuff. I guess so. Okay. Uh, I suppose that's about it for this room then. Alright, well, uh, we got a little bit more cutscenes and stuff, but no new items or clues or anything, but that's okay. There is uh, a bunch more rooms, it looks like. Is that... was there one room on this side? There is one room on this side as well. The art studio. Okay. Let's have a look then. Alright, um... Oh wait, no, is this the room that we came from? Yeah, it is. Alright, let's, uh, head back... wait, where did... Where'd you go? <laughs> Am I just too zoomed in? Oh, there we go. Okay. <laughs> I suppose we'll go to the, um, the opposite room then. 
to see what's up there. Uh, so I guess this one. Okay. No good, it's locked. Okay, so that one's a locked one. There's another room over here. And we can go into this one. Uh-huh. So I wonder if all of these rooms are kind of, in a way, hobby-based or something. Like, there could be a library or something like that. I don't know. Okay. Oh, one of the plates are missing. I guess that's where uh, he got the plate from. Also a, a, a tiny little bed. Probably a, a, yeah, it's definitely a single bed, so this could be like, what, Franny's room or something? What do you think this room was for? Hmm. Oh, <laughs> you turn back into a ball? Oh, okay. <laughs> Alright, let's take a look at the tea set. There's a teapot and a teacup on the table. Huh. D? What's wrong, D? Mm. I feel like I've seen this cup before. Okay, is that it? I guess so. Uh, nothing on this side. What about the desk? Oh, I can't interact with it. Gotta go on this side. Okay. Oh, we can take a look at the drawer, maybe. Okay, the old album. There's an old album full of photos. Oh, yeah, that's definitely 1924. <laughs> the two play in the yard. Masters Henry and Thomas are growing up in good health. Oh, it's, it's, a, it's a photo book, I guess. They're practically inseparable. They make quite the pair. Master Henry is a kind-hearted big brother, always looking after young Mist, uh, Master Thomas. Oh, and they, they actually ended up playing properly. Okay. Uh, August 1932, the two play in a sports tournament. Master Henry so wise and strong, Master Thomas sweet and honest. The sound of laughter is ever-present around those bright and exuberant boys. I'm sure Mr. Edward is indescribably proud of their growth. Okay. Oh, and this is what they ended up becoming. Portraits of the two, September 1934. While Master Henry pursues art, Master Thomas aims to be a writer. The pair have grown into fine young men, and Mr. Edward is truly, hoping from the bottom of their heart that they achieve the lives they so desire. Interesting. Okay, a bit of lore. And we have a plate, I guess. Uh, there's some silver tableware in the drawer. Huh. Oh, is this real silver? There must be antiques or something. Oh. That plate. D? What is it, D? Hmm. Can't be sure, but... Just feel like this place is somehow precious. Huh? Precious? Oh, we can't grab it, though. Interesting. Can we take a look at this drawer? Yes, we can. The drawer is empty, okay? I guess not. There is also another drawer here, so let's take a look at this one. That one's also empty, okay. Interesting. Uh, books. There's several books on the desk, okay? What about over here? Uh, it's the same thing, okay. Um, the desk lamp? There's a dusty desk lamp. I, look, I have, like, a house, like, a house dust allergy, so I could not go into a place like this, like an mm -hmm. old, uh, house. Guess this book was bedtime reading. Okay. Side table. Is there... Can we take a look at the briefcase? Yeah, we can. Okay. Um, There's gotta be something in here. Oh, I guess not. Okay. We don't have to crack a code to open anything. Huh. Bed? It's so neatly made. Whoever slept here keeps kept things nice. I guess a very, like, yeah, like a neat person. Mm. Huh, just a totally empty wardrobe. Okay. Fireplace? Or, or the, the photo, I guess? There's a portrait on the wall. Who is this? Yeah, who is that? <gasps> hmm. Someone you remember, perhaps. I guess that would make the most sense, huh? Oh, there's a safe somewhere. My quarters at your whim. Okay. So there's a safe somewhere that we must have to open, I, I guess. Okay. Huh. Hmm. Something the matter? Yeah. I just remembered something. Uh huh. This was Wells's room. Wells? Okay. Wells? He was the butler of this mansion. Uh huh. He found me in here once and said to me, Butlers safeguard all manner of important items for the people of their houses. So there must be something in here that we so have to find. You must enter my quarters at your whim. Mm -hmm. I wonder what sort of important items he was looking after. Good question. Um, it was keys. Wells helped oh, every that key would be the mansion. incredibly helpful. They might be helpful for finding Jessica. Absolutely. Let's look around for them. Yep. That's a good idea. Although I imagine that someone else could have taken them uh, already, right? So, silver table has displayed on wall-mounted shelves. <laughs> this silver table is old but pretty. Oh, Wells yeah. really cherished these. He kept them so polished you could see your reflection. Huh. But now they're so tarnished. It's kind of sad. That's weird. I do like the little chibis with the expressions. That's strange. Huh? What is? Hey. There were four plates the last time I saw them. It's important to keep all the plates together. I remember Wells saying that. Hmm? Four important plates, huh? Okay, in that case, I guess we can, uh, I suppose we'll take a look at this mm. first. The drawers are totally empty, not even trash or anything. Okay, very clean, uh, person. Um, there wasn't, oh no, there wasn't a plate <laughs> here. Um, oh, this is, 
new flavor text, isn't it? Sorry, I'll go back to the backlog and read that then. Oh, they're so pretty, they must be antiques. I always love the idea of having tea time with stuff like this. Tiny cups, cute little cakes, the whole setup. Oh. Okay. I just remembered, yeah. Ashley, I drank tea from this cup before. When I first came to the mansion, Wells made milk tea. Oh yeah, and he served it with some chocolate cake. Huh. Oh, I love chocolate cake. I'm getting jealous and hungry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? Okay, nice, cute little flavor text. I think the silver plate was in the other room, uh, and there was another one in the piano room as well, so there is a safe as well, I guess. Alright, there's a sturdy looking okay. safe. A safe this sturdy. It's got to be protecting something important. Do you think you can get it open? Mm. Let's see. No good, nope, huh? it's locked tight. Mm. Well, I hope there's a clue somewhere around here. I imagine, uh, get the plates there, and then maybe mm. we'll get something. All this tableware is class of China, no silver. Okay. So, I think now that we've triggered that event, we could go back to the art room and grab that. Um, it is quite the distance to go to the, uh, what was it again? The other room? The, uh, the piano room? Oh, didn't mean to do that. Um, oh no, this one's a locked one. Okay. We'll, take, we'll go through here. Um, sorry, the, <laughs> the camera angles are a little bit. Okay. Um, but yeah, I'll go to the art room, uh, like afterwards when we need to go back that way. So, yeah, okay. Where was, uh, there was a plate. It was this plate, wasn't it? Um, I suppose we can grab this plate now, or chocolate on silver plate. Hey, Dee, check out the plate. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's a piece of the table. Uh, table is set, Wells loved. Nice, pecking bird. I should put it back where it belongs. Oh, there's a photo. Mm. Hmm, there's something. Picture was left under the silver plate. This is... Oh, uh, this is, uh, her and her mother. Uh, with that's... Sayago. Oh, sorry, she's... I did not mean to skip that. I do... Apologize. There she is. Hurry, Ashley. Hide. I wonder where Ashley got her silver hair from. <laughs> Probably the father, <laughs> I guess. It's the only thing that would make sense, right? But uh, okay. Right. Mm. I remember who said that. Yeah. It was mom. Uh huh. The woman in the photo is your mother. That I guess must so. mean the baby is. Yeah. It's. It's me. It is very interesting how her eyebrows are black, though, so... This must be Dad's photo. Like, realistically, it would make more sense if her hair was dyed, but clearly that's her, you know, birth hair color, so... <laughs> we did get the photo of Mum, I guess. Okay, we did get the plate as well, uh, so I suppose we can head back that way. Uh, and, uh, which way is the door? <laughs> I think. Um, which way actually is the door? I've just been walking around. There it is, okay. Um, okay. So I imagine we're gonna have to find all four plates anyways, so, or sorry, all th uh, three more. So I might as well take a look at the, is there another door on this side? No, there isn't. Okay, we'll take a look at the furthest door over here, see if we can open it. We can. Oh no, we can't. There's a lock on the door. Um... Does this lead to the room with the piano in it? Oh, does it? Oh, I can unlock it. Fantastic, we can just grab the, uh, the plate from there then, that's great. Alright, let's uh, take a look at the drawing room. So that does leave one mystery. I don't know where the third plate is, so that's uh, yeah a bit of a, a bit of a shame. Uh, where even was the plate? It was over here, wasn't it? Let's take a look. Okay. Um, yeah, smells like cigarettes. I suppose we're just gonna have to take this as an ashtray filled with cigarette butts. Hmm. Ashley. Something about this ashtray. Huh? What, what about it? Hey. Try brushing it off. <laughs> I'm sure. Okay. Kind of gross, but okay. Brushing away the cigarette butts and ashes revealed a beautiful bird in relief. <gasps> Wow, what's oh. this? I thought so. This ashtray is from the butler's room. Alright, nice. We've got the platter with the flying bird. Okay, so it's a different type of bird, I suppose. Although I guess most birds fly, so... Uh, the only thing is I don't really know where the other uh, plate would be. So that's, that is something... I guess the E key is for the east uh, wing. Which is, uh, yeah, fair point, I guess. Because, like, I th I'm pretty sure all the other doors were sort of unlocked, um, or sort of locked, I should say. I wonder if we can actually put up some of the other ones right now. Right. If giving them together is so important, let's line these up. Okay. I'm sure Wells would appreciate that. Okay. We've only got two, though, right? Um. Dish with the packing bird. Uh, can we put them down now, or is there a special order that we need them, I wonder? Well, we'll put two of them down for now. Oh, there's like... Oh, wait, there is an order, I think. Um, I put all the plates we have on the shelf, but I guess we don't have them all. Actually. We found two plates, so there must be one left. Okay, so I guess we have to... F oh, no, never mind, they do, they do stay there. We need to find another one somewhere. Can we take a look at the fireplace? Hmm. That's the thing, I'm not too sure where else we can really look. Was there a map in this game? Oh, I forget now. 
Um, that is the thing, I do quite enjoy those types of mystery novel adventures, but, uh, you know, once you're stuck, you're kind of really stuck, you know? Wells must have loved books, there's tons here on the desk. Okay. Nothing down here, the bucket. Uh, no, oh, sorry, no one's used this bucket. There's an old rusty bucket off to the side of the room. So it's not in the bucket either. Hmm. The third plate, huh? I definitely do want to solve this mystery before this, uh, before we wrap up this episode. For sure. I guess we have to go back? Would we? <laughs> I don't know anymore. Um, there's some old dried up flowers in the vase. Because, like, okay, so there's one in the art room, right? There was one here. And that's the butler's room, so I kind of imagine there would be one uh, in this room, but it's not going to open, so... Unless maybe it is the E key. I mean, we still have it in our inventory. No, nope, we can't. Okay. Well, that's a shame. Uh, I suppose we'll uh, walk around. I mean, look, in the absolute worst case scenario at any point of this game, if I feel absolutely stuck, then I might look into it, but I'll try not to. Oh, there is a door here. There's a door here. No, like, it won't open. Okay. That one's not opening either. What about this door? Oh, uh, above the golden sprouted beak, it dawns the locked door. Nope, nothing here either. Most of these doors just, uh, oh, was there one in Franny's room, maybe? Um, oh, but we can't open it, I see. Hmm. That is a bit of a shame. The face there, um, is there another? Yeah, I must admit the camera is a little bit close sometimes, uh, in certain situations. It, like, it's fine most of the time, but... Maybe there's one here, then, the plate, I don't know, maybe we just complete- Oh, that's the- the foyer, so I, I imagine it wouldn't be here. Um, let's head back in then. Yeah, again, like, when we're right at the- the walls, it's- yeah, it's a little bit difficult, but that's okay. I'm not, uh, complaining too much. So, anywho. Okay, uh, so we did that- Did we take a look at this room, or is this one locked as well? Bear with three leaf clover and a speaker door the locked door. Good. It's locked oh. up, do you know what room this is? Sorry. Can't remember, okay. Hmm, I must admit, I am a little stuck with where the third silver plate could be, unless it's out here somewhere. Like, just connected, you know, not connected, but just, like, hung up somewhere. Perhaps this one's also locked as well. Hmm, okay. Well, that's, uh, that's a bit of a shame, isn't it? Um, I really didn't want to look up stuff this early on, um, but, you know, uh, unless... Because the only other thing I could think was maybe uh, the connecting door. Yeah, with the drawing room. Um, maybe there is a, a, a way to open another room over on this side where there's a... Because, you know, it's it's made us connect those two areas together. So I imagine a bit of backtracking kind of makes sense in this context too. So was there a plate out in the, in the main, you know, hallways? I feel like there could be, but... Um, probably can't open this one, right? Yeah, the doors looked, uh, tight. Hmm. What about some of these ones? Mm. Nope. I imagine most of these doors are pretty locked, so... You know, it's- in a way it's kind of linear, but... Again, I can't really... I have no idea where this other silver plate is, to be- <laughs> to be dead honest with you. Um... That was just directly into the drawing room, right? There wasn't any other... Yeah, okay. Hmm. I'm gonna take a look around. Uh, I know this is gonna be a little bit, uh, what do you call it? Yeah, it's just gonna be me walking around, so I'm gonna, uh, I'll, I'll just cut until we, we find something. Hold on a second, isn't that a QR code origami? Hold on, um, camera. Go down. Oh, there it is. Right? Yeah, it is. Okay. I completely missed that. Um, oh, okay. Lauren said with the Patriarch scanned. How do we look at those again? Uh, as in the messages. Okay, let's take a look. It seems the late patriarch of this mansion, Lawrence Edward, was a deeply distrusting man. Uh, he found gold on the desolate island and grew the co uh, company his he established in the span of a single generation. Uh, he seems... where did that go? He seemed to have viewed everyone who approached him as a thief who wanted only his money, so much so that he forbade anyone outside the family from entering the mansion. What's more, he took measures to guard his property from intruders by placing mechanisms all around the mansion. 
I believe his uh, distrust of others had a negative impact on his family as well. There is for some reason not a single mention of his wife anywhere in the mansion. There's not even a trace of a grave belonging to her in the graveyard. I have no real evidence to suggest this, but my theory is Lawrence's wife fell out of love with him, the man who cast suspicion on everyone and left the island for good after having his child. Okay. Uh, do, do I have to move? I <laughs> okay, I'm gonna move for a second. I guess I'm gonna be on the corner for a sec. Uh, Lawrence's reward for amassing such vast wealth was to be tortured by the distrust of others, leaving him a lonely man who had lost the love of his family. However, it appears he was able to keep his heart open to at least one person, the butler who served his family, and judging from the journal in the butler's room, it seems it was a mutual and unwavering loyalty. Alright, back I go. Okay, we are so back. Um, <laughs> let us continue. So that was a really hidden QR code uh, origami, because it's just the, the darkness. To be fair, I I'm kind of playing on a bit of a dark monitor, so maybe you guys noticed that before I did. Um, but I feel like there has to be a plate in here somewhere. Anyways, I'm gonna keep uh, looking and I will cut until I find something. Oh, hold on, I completely forgot about this. What am I saying? It, there was one right <laughs> all along. Here we go, okay. Look at this plate. Yeah. Alright, that's one of Wells' silver plates. Small dish with chirping bird. All right. I bet you some people were really frustrated watching me like that. I'm so sorry. Sometimes I just, you know, <laughs> am clumsy like that. I should put it back where it belongs. Indeed. Okay. Well, let us uh, go back and we'll head over to the silver plates. And I have a gut feeling uh, of what the order is. It's, yeah, the big mm -hmm. ones uh, to the side, right? So the four plates. Right. If keeping them together is so important, let's line these up. I'm sure Wells would appreciate that. Okay. Time for a puzzle. Uh, so can I take this one? Yeah, I can, okay. So we'll just put the big one on this side. Why can't I press A? Oh, I gotta press Y, that's right. Uh, dish with flying bird, yeah. And then I'm guessing they're meant- wow. Oh, okay, the pedestal came down. It must be some sort of mechanism. Maybe based on weight or something. Okay, and we'll put the, I guess the peg, uh, the trapping bird facing uh, to the right. Yep, and uh, exactly what I thought. Let's put the uh, pecking bird facing to the left here. Yeah. Cool. So we, oh, okay. And those top ones fell down, uh, came down as well. Uh-huh, okay. We found something. Nice. Every single time I love what? that jingle. This was some sort of puzzle all along? I guess so. Look, there's something in there. Yeah. Like a rolled up uh, bit of paper, I guess. Let's take a look. Can you reach that? <laughs> I wonder what's inside. Oh, okay, I didn't actually imagine. <laughs> I had to click on it. What's this? Um, uh, am I, oh, is this a map of the mansion? Huh. Oh. What? There's something written on the space of the room. Got mansion map. Okay, that's going to be very handy. Uh, is there anything else in here? Secret safe. Uh, okay. It's empty, that's it. To be fair, that didn't... Well... I guess it kind of helped up, uh, helped us, but, oh, sorry, the L button, not the ZL. I should make notes of the interesting things I find. Uh-huh. Whoa, that's really cool. Actually, I do remember this in the original DS game. So all of those are, are locked. Art Studio, Butler's Room. R13, L2, R7, L25. What is that? Where's Jessica, Foyer? Uh-huh. And it's just the first four, and all of those are locked. Which means... Well, this oh, wait, no, we can actually take a look at the second floor as well. Interesting. Uh, as well as the underground. The underground. I guess you gotta go on the left there. This is a bit of a dilemma, though, because we actually can't... I well, At least I can't find any areas that are completely unlocked right now. The only thing I could think of is maybe uh, if we zoom in a bit. There's this little area behind the art room. I wonder if that's going to give us a clue of sorts. I also don't know what the R13 thing is. Is that... Could that be the safe? Huh. I guess... Uh, okay. Oh, no, no, not the tableware. Maybe that's the, the key to the safe? Started looking hey. safe. I wonder what's inside. Nope, it's locked tight. Hey. Don't suppose you know the combination, do you? Sure don't. Mm. Do you think Wells left it somewhere? Maybe that's exactly what we need. Uh, I should have written that down. One second. Alright, let's uh, take a look at the safe. I've, I've written down uh, the numbers that were on the map, so maybe that will work. How do I even look at this? Oh, as in R is in turn to the right, L is in turn to the left, gotcha. Okay, so rotate clockwise. Is it just going to keep going? Okay. Uh, wait, R13, I already messed up. <laughs> I'm sorry, let me do it again. 
It won't open eight. Ah, uh, sorry. Yeah, let me just try that again. I didn't imagine it was gonna move that quickly. So if I just press R, oh, it's just every. Wait a second, twenty-five, right? So five. 10, 15, 20, 25. It's in increments of 5. But the issue is, it's R13. So, isn't that already R15? I mean, I'm gonna try, but... Okay. And then L2. <laughs> I mean, that's L5, but... R7? <laughs> uh, and then L25. Okay, the 25 is doable, at least. Wait a second. Hold on a minute. It's not in increments of five. Let me redo that. Wait, this is really confusing now. Hmm. How about... Uh-huh. I think I figured it out, though. I think I figured it out. Um, Ashley. I was just really confused because I thought both dials had the... Okay, so never mind. I have to move it all the way down to 13. Okay, that's easy. Um, okay. So go all the way over here. 15, 14, 13. And then we have to go L2. All the way back to number two. Just slow down a bit there. And then we have to go to R7. So we're going to go basically all the way around. Um, to 10, uh, 9, 8, 7. And then L25. So that's to the very end there. Over here. Nice. We got it. Okay. We figured it out. It took a few uh, tries, but... Uh, wow, that was very zero escape. <laughs> With the door opening like got that. It. Yeah. The safe is unlocked. Oh, okay, yep. Well done, Ashley. Remember if, um, okay, let's see what Virtue's we have last here. reward, of course. Okay. Let us take a look. This is Oh, we got some keys, yes, so that's a nice. Key. Two keys as a matter of fact. And Wells' diary. Now we can get into those locked rooms. Yes, sir. The flower key. Okay. And the three leaf clover key. Notebook? Okay. Wells must have written it. Yes, sir. Uh, we finally learned I'm going to have to move. <laughs> Okay, here we are. We finally learned to muscle Le uh, Leonard's whereabouts, but it was too late. He had already succumbed to the epidemic. It had been decided that Mr. Edward would take in the two children he left behind. Mr. Edward has ordered new rooms to be prepared for the young children. He calls the rooms the Golden Bird Room and the Silver Bird Room. Okay. That's the next page. The two boys have long since outgrown me. They are now strapping young men. Masters Thomas and Henry have entered the same university. Master Henry so wise and strong. Master Thomas sweet and honest. I'm sure Mr. Edward is indescribably proud of their growth. Now there is no longer a concern about finding a successor. Master Henry and Thomas both marry. Okay. The dreaded day has finally come. Master Henry and Thomas are both headed to the battlefield. Oh, the war has intensified, and both the young men were called to the front lines. When I think about how Master Mr. Ed must, sorry, Mr. Edward must feel, I am speechless. I can only pray for their safety. The long-awaited day has arrived. Both young masters have come home. The joy I feel to have them return alive is unparalleled. Their return, however, bearing grave wounds to both body and soul. Master Henry locks himself in the art studio, gazing endlessly at the pieces he once painted. He even struggles with daily matters such as eating. Mr. Edward has keenly observed that help is needed and has arranged for Henry to stay on the island with his family. After staying with us for several days, Master Thomas returned to his home on the mainland. He conducted himself with his customary positive manner, but I could sense something like a dark cloud in his content. Uh, countenance, I guess? I cannot possibly understand their feelings, but I pray they can rest and become well soon. Miss Edward prepared his last will and testament. Mr. Edward has taken ill. What have I done? If only I hadn't written the letter and called them to the island, but no matter how I repent, those days will never return. It's all my doing, the fault is mine alone. But, but, sorry, but perhaps one day a descendant of the Edward family will return. Should that happen, I will leave a set of blueprints in my drawer. I hope that they are found and provide some use. I pray that the souls of Mr. Edward and the others rest peacefully for eternity. Okay. This Mr. Edward must have been your great grandfather, Dee. Yes, sir. You're probably right. So I guess a descendant of the Edwards is technically here. Um, he is a spirit, but he is technically here. Henry and Thomas. Yes, sir. If they were brothers and they were Lawrence's grandchildren. Mm hmm. Hmm. Dee, you all right? <gasps> oh, did he figure out something? Maybe he's he's met them once before. Oh, I guess so. Henry, enough already. Mm -hmm. What are you trying to say, Thomas? Okay. Right. I just remembered something. Mm -hmm. Back then, Uncle Henry called my father. I'm just gonna scoot over to the left. There we go. That's a little bit better. <laughs> Thomas. Okay. Thomas. Thomas. Your father's name is Thomas. Yes, sir. D. That's great. You remembered your dad. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Franny's father is Henry. 
Dee's father is Thomas. Uh -huh. So they're cousins, like I mentioned. Henry and Thomas were brothers. They died on this island in the same year. I wonder if it was some sort of like sickness that went around the whole island. I wonder what happened. Because everyone was on the Dee island. so upset. Mm. He's probably wondering the same thing. Yeah, I would be too. Okay, cool. Uh, I guess one thing, I do know that this has already been uh, 30 minutes, but one thing I did want to check is, uh, he talked about, or the, the diary talked about something about the blueprints in the drawer. Um, okay, yeah, no. <laughs> Such pretty dishes, the butler had good taste. I wish I could have seen you talking with Wells, but he would have called you young missus or something. He really would have. <laughs> oh, for sure, but, huh? but what? Well, it's really strict when it comes to manners. You couldn't, uh, you would have not, sorry, you would not have wanted to make him mad. There we go. I'm sure it would have been too long before he was mad at me for something. <laughs> okay. Cute flavor text. Not what I was looking for, but it is, it is cute flavor text. I'm guessing it would be over here. Um, was there blueprints? There was only this though, it wasn't there. So that's what I wonder. It's just the old album, isn't it? The drawer, probably, yeah, you know, th there was nothing in there, so. The only other, um, wardrobe or you know that sort of thing i can think of is this one here and i just wanted to double check because uh, i'm probably gonna forget um if i don't uh, check now you know or oh, maybe the sideboard okay that's all empty well that's okay i guess oh wait hold on there's something in the safe can we take that or door is open well it's a journey written by a uh, journal written by uh no i'm good i'm fine i was just wondering if we could take a look at the other areas but i guess not anyways i guess um unless Maybe we can... No, we can't take a look at that. That's okay, then. Uh, we'll take a look at the keys next time around, because uh, they're definitely going to open up some new areas. Uh, but for the time being, I'm going to end things off here. So hopefully you all enjoy this episode of Another Code. And uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed my little uh, cute little uh, 2D icon, because uh, I will be using that going forward. I think I'm going to draw up some uh, different outfits and stuff going forward as well that we can kind of alternate between. But uh, anywho, I'm going to end things off here. So hopefully you all enjoyed this just as much as I did. And I'll see you guys next time with some more Another Code recollection. Hope to see you all there. Bye-bye.